Hi guys, so I was asked, how do you use Lopin Hackamore? So this is a Lopin Hackamore I made, it's available at prairiediamondhorsemanship.com. So this is Chester, he is a curly Mustang Gelding, he's four years old. I've had him for two years, he was my first Mustang ever, and I've done 100% of the training on him. He does both English and Western, um, he's a really versatile horse. Today we have, of course, our Lopin Hackamore. We have some classic equine boots and um, bells and all that. Uh, we have a CSI pad with just a western rug thrown on top to make it look a little bit prettier. And I have uh, a pretty old, almost an antique saddle that I'm riding him in. It fits him wonderfully and it's a really well built saddle. So that's what we're riding in today. And so basically, the question was, how do I use a little bit of more? Like, I own one, but what's the purpose? Like, how am I supposed to do it? Because I don't think my horse is understanding what I'm asking. So basically, a little bit of more, it's just, it's just a nose band. And usually reins are connected somehow. It's like, basically like a rope bozel or something similar. It's an upgrade from a halter. It's a little bit nicer than a halter, but it's also very soft. And so this is uh, double braid polyester. And so it's like what they use on yacht boats. So that it's like withstands the UV, withstands the water, and also maintains its softness and it retains its color. And so it's really nice. So this is what's on him. A lot of people use like Lariat, which is a little bit stiffer and a little bit more assertive than just this soft rope, but it's still very similar to how you use it. So, I'm going to get on and kind of show you. But, so basically, it's just two split rings, and I like to hold them any way that just feels comfortable. So, so you can hold these one handed crossed over the neck, one handed just like this, like your typical western hand, you can hold it like this, or you can go two handed, and when you go two handed with any ring, but specifically any of your splits, go your thumb under in coffee mug so that you maintain your control. And it gives just a slight contact, but it's not, it's not abrasive, it's not going to rub their nose raw, but also you can correct them a little bit. So you can move them around. Now your lope and hackamore, why it's called a lope and hackamore is because it was made for lopers. Lopers are essentially performance horse or rating horse trainees. So basically their job is to exercise the horses before the head trainer gets on them and actually does all the schooling. So if these aren't made to really do a, much, a lot of training on them. It's more made for exercise, basic control, neck reining, and like basic correction, but not, but not really training on them. So, I mean, there's not a whole lot of feel to these, but you get the point across to the horse. But you can see it's just super, super soft and it's really flexible. So it works nice. This specific one is adjustable to their size nose, so you could put it on a bigger nosed horse or a smaller nosed horse. Um, a lot of lope and hack horses are, but um, you have to, if you're wanting one that's a little bit more versatile in their nose sizing, they'll want to look into if it's adjustable or if it's solid. So that's essentially the mechanics of it. Um, but this is made for a lot of neck reining, so you'll see most people ride one-handed and they just go out, train on their horse, go, you know, one-handed like this is 
the common, if they have to go two-handed, they go, so they hold their reins like this, like your, your typical AQHA showmanship. So you they typically hold like this, so if you go two-handed, they take a finger over top here, they slide this out, and it creates this little loop. So, again, they go from this, they kind of rotate around to get their fingers over and create this. But I always, I almost always um, go, I have my reins crossed, so if I drop them, I don't use them. If you drop your reins over here, you lost one of your reins, you could step on it. That could be very dangerous, especially on younger horses that don't stop off and aren't as paying attention. So I like to go across the neck and then I just pick up with one hand and I slide my hands out and then I can slide back. But same ideas. So we'll ride around a little bit so you guys can see this in action. Because I can only explain so much. Almost everybody on this channel is Visual seer, that like a visual learner. Not visual seer. Of course, you visually see. No, visual learners. That's why you guys are new to the So, I'll try to show you how I like to use these. Learning here, so that's kind of 
treasured it. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, content that you would like to see, any of that, let me know. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.